Hello gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I'm so excited for this one because I, I believe that I have found my favorite fragrance. Don't forget to get you something to drink. It might be a long one, we never know. You guys know that I love to chat. So get something to drink. I just have here a pumpkin spice latte. Fall is here and so pumpkin spice lattes are a must. If you guys wanna see a recipe on a vlog video, let me know, cause it's delicious. Mm. If you're new to this channel, my name is Karina Waldron and I would absolutely love it if you subscribe to the channel. We talk a lot about smelling good, looking good, feeling good. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Also follow me on Instagram. I do have my personal page and also my brand page, which is Illuminar. I recently launched, so check it out if you haven't already. We have some gorgeous candles to select from for your home. Um, I will link the video down below announcing the brand and all about that and um, let's jump into this so this particular fragrance I had a sample of and I fell in love with the sample I wore it for as much as I could until I told myself yes I absolutely need a full bottle this is a fragrance that was definitely love at first sniff it blew me away the quality the longevity the projection the scent is literally what i love in a fragrance you guys know my favorites already delina baccarat rouge and i am definitely going to say that this is in that category of my top fragrances it is stunning if you love the fragrances that i love that are feminine elegant, chic, captivating, intoxicating, but done in the right way. The fragrance that I am talking about is from Amouage and it's called Overture. Oh my God. Amouage as a brand honestly is stunning. They're definitely very luxe and prestige and they are one of the most gorgeous niche fragrance houses. But I do find that a lot of their fragrances are very particular. They're not for the faint at heart. A lot of them are not safe blind buys. You really want to try it out for yourself because, because I would probably put them in the category of more complex fragrances that are absolutely stunning. Let, let's get that straight but definitely something to understand and feel they tend to do a lot of fragrances that is mainly more masculine and then more feminine this one is the feminine version of the fragrance i have here this gorgeous 100 ml bottle and the box is divine if you've had any fragrances from amouage you know that the presentation is always on point and so i am just obsessed with this presentation can we talk about the bottle let's open her up Oh, she's divine, she's divine. I really, really love the frosted bottle. You can still see the juice, but it has a little bit of texture to it. And I really, really love the color scheme with like the rose gold and the bottle. It's really beautiful and again, quite feminine to me. So this fragrance is not brand new. It was released in 2020 and I'm on the Fragrantica website and the main accords of this fragrance is warm, spicy, amber, leather, fruity, woody, rose, fresh, spicy, animalic, fresh and balsamic. Now let's talk about these notes real quick. So the top notes, we have brandy, apple, saffron and bergamot. So really beautiful concoction here and quite unique. And then in the middle notes, we have May Rose, which I really, really like. We have benzoin, myrrh, cinnamon, geranium, and then in the base, it's leather, olibanum, and labdanum. <laughs> I always have a hard time saying these notes, but it will be on the screen. But now let me give you my take on what I smell when I wear this fragrance. I'm gonna spray it on my skin. I've already worn it a few times, and I am just, oh, I'm so obsessed. Oh gosh, this is intoxicating. It's rich. It is sexy also. Definitely a date night scent for me. You will get the kind of like rum aspect to this fragrance because it does have that boozy nature to it. But you also get the floral in here. And I feel like it adds a little bit of freshness in this fragrance and 
Everything just combined makes a really kind of sensual fragrance. It is a little bit more on the mature side in my opinion, so you kind of have to tread lightly. I would say get yourself a sample. They do have this on Twisted Lily. And you can always use my discount code, which is Karina10, to get a little discount off of your purchases on Twisted Lily. I'm so grateful that this discount code is there forever, and you can go ahead and use it on your niche fragrances. I always use it myself also. But this, oh my God. Okay, I'll be honest, it might not be the safest blind buy. It is very unique, very complex. It's a fragrance that you either will love it or I think you just won't like it at all. But to me, it's quite sensual. It is leaning quite feminine. It definitely has a little sweetness in there and it has a lot of complexity with all of these different tones of notes in this fragrance. It's a spicy one in the opening also. And it does have this fresh quality like, and I think it comes a lot from that May rose that they've put in here but it's just, to me, it is so stunning. I don't have anything in my collection that actually smells like this fragrance that I can actually compare it to, so I love that it stands out within my collection. And when I wear this fragrance, I just feel very, very elegant sexy, like a woman. I feel like a woman when I wear this fragrance. Again, I prefer it more for evening and I also prefer it a lot more for date nights because to me it does have this like this sensual sexy element to it. Um, but it's just, oh, it's such a beautiful concoction of a fragrance. And I haven't been excited for a fragrance in a really long time. I get fragrances all the time, purchasing or sent to me, and a lot of them have been just okay. But this one, as soon as I smelled the sample, I just knew 100% I needed this in my collection. It's just so divine and so rich. The lasting ability of this fragrance is insane. And so is the projection. This is the type of fragrance you don't need to overspray. It is quite loud in my opinion and really kind of creates a scent bubble. My husband says that he can smell this one from a mile away and he really likes when I wear this fragrance. Now I've just gotten my full size bottle. I had a sample before that I was wearing. That's why my bottle is still pretty full, but he really enjoys it. Again, let me just say this. It is slightly on the mature side. It is a more complex fragrance, probably not for every day. It's something that I would reserve more for an event, um, something that I'm really dressed up to go to, like a date night, of course, and I really just wanna be in the mood to be a little bit more sensual. This is the kind of fragrance that I would pull out and absolutely wear. So I just, I love it. And with me and Amwaj, I'm to be really honest it's definitely hit and miss there are fragrances that i find that are a little too complex for me and then there are ones that i completely fall in love with and this is the one that i have completely fallen in love with and i have put it in my category of my must have fragrances in my collection but i know that i'm not going to wear this one like i wear baccarat rouge which is pretty much i could wear that as a signature scent all day long this is definitely something that is more reserved for a special occasion like I said because the scent is just so unique and it definitely gives off a vibe that is not appropriate for any like every sort of occasion in my opinion like I would not wear this during the day to go grocery shopping you know what I mean but if you're looking for a heavy hitter something that is loud it projects really well it lasts really well it leaves a trail and an impression oh yeah this is it right here. Honestly, I don't even have anything negative to say or like pros and cons. Like I said, it's not gonna be for everyone, so get yourself a sample if you're not sure. But if you like the type of fragrances that I like, you probably really love this one. And I recommend you guys checking it out on Twisted Lily. Get yourself a sample and then see how it marinates with your skin. And let me know in the comments section. Guys, this was actually a pretty short video compared to other videos. That's all I have to say 
about that fragrance. I am obsessed with it. I love it. And I will link it down below for you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on that fragrance. And if you have tried it, and if there's any other Amwash scents that I need to get my nose on, also comment down below and let me know because I'm a little confused with the brand. Like sometimes I read the notes and I'm like, I don't know what this will smell like. So I would love, love to hear your opinion if it's a brand that you absolutely love. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and cool today and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao!